So would you encourage anyone to join Nagalama? Yeah, because of the, you know, the diet is so fine. So you're there for the food. Well, also, no, also the books, because... Um, Hey there and welcome to the Youth Platform, a show that brings the individuals from different schools. They are going to tell you about their lifestyle, culture and everything you need to know about their schools. Today I bring you amazing, amazing guests, a beautiful lady and a handsome gentleman. So let's have our guests to introduce themselves. Hi guys, I'm um, Mark, Mark Andrew. Uh, most, of, most of you know me as Sack Lanes, the event organizer and I'm one of your guests today. Hey guys, my name is Medina and I'm from Nagalama. Amazing guests, as I told you, very, very beautiful and a handsome gentleman. So what's amazing about these guests of mine today is that they are leaders in their schools. Yes, they do hold leadership positions and meaning they are able to influence people. And there's obviously a reason as to why they chose them as leaders. So I would want to ask our guests, what are your leadership positions in schools right now? Well, at my school, Viva, um, chairperson, uh, most of it, most of them know it as the CP, Chairperson Schools Council, whereby we guide students and do this and this and counsel them where they are wrong. Yeah, so that they do the wrong the next time. It's not so a big job, though we face challenges there and there. All right, all right. So, Medrin, please tell us what your role is at school as a leader. What position do you hold? Well, I'm a domestress and it's kind of not that hard, like, my post because um all i have to do is make sure that my dormitory is clean and probably the students are like go to class at the right time okay so medrin um this question is for you you really look like a person who would switch the head girl position so why did you go uh why did you go for the dorm prefect position in school well since i'm among the guys um who like hanging out in the dorm I kind of figured out that, like, well, I should um, try to make these guys, like, go to class earlier because um, being a late comer is kind of... I guess it does nice. have punishments and all those things. Yes. Yeah, I don't think it's something that you would want to get into. So I would like to ask the both of you, please tell me about the culture in your schools. Like, what are the things... Okay. Minus the do's and don'ts, but what are those things that you think make your school to stand out from the rest? Over to you, Mark. Um, well, some know Viva, some don't. Viva sure. College International, it's in Ginger. There's yeah. some tech to create. Yeah, it's in Ginger. There's some tech to create. Nice. Ginger is a village, Ginger is what, but, well, if you cross the bridge and you go over, it's a nice place because it has good schools. We have competitors there, but it's a good school. We differ though. Let me say it's like an international school that side, and it is well. Okay. Yeah, it's big. Our culture is good. Feeding is fine. Our hostels are good. Where we have our, where we reside. Yeah, our teachers are good. Principal, I won't say much, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's all. That's how life moves around. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, you talked about your school being an international school, meaning your curriculum is quite different from what I have experienced because personally, I was. I was at Our Lady of Africa, Namiliango. True, true. So I would want to ask you, what is your what is your curriculum like? What are the curriculums there? Do you have the UNEB setting and the Cambridge setting? What exactly is the setting there at Viva College? Well, we have both. We do have both. Okay. Yeah. Once you reach Form Three, that's where you get to. Do. There is Form Three, and then others call it Grade Nine. Okay. Yeah, grade Nine, Grade Ten. So you get to decide for yourself which one you're doing, either Cambridge or British. So which one are you doing? Like, what did you decide to pursue in your education? The British. British actually, because it's one I've been used to. Okay. Yeah. So, used to. yeah, right now, over to Medrina, Medrin, right? I hope I've gotten that right. Yeah, it's actually Medrin. Medrin, my bad. My bad. So Medrin, uh, tell us more about your school. Would it be a school you would classify as strict or it's kind of, you know, less strict than what I have experienced. Well, Nagalama is actually a strict school, but once you follow the rules, it's fine. So would you encourage anyone to join Nagalama? Yeah, because of the, you know, the diet is so fine. So you're there for the food? Well, also, no, also the books, because, um, well, who does like reading? 
Yeah, so um, according to the performance, let's based on performance, would you encourage someone to go there? Yes, because um, they probably have all the resources you would need. They have laboratories, they have, like, the library is stocked. Yeah, and I believe it's a school that performs well. So all of you out there who would want a school, Medina has told you the advantages and the plus side of being at Nagalama. So why not be able to join through? So back to the leadership positions in school. Um, how did how did leadership change your life? Or did you did you remain the same? Okay, there's the fact that you guys we are experiencing COVID right now, so everything is basically online. You're having lessons online. Everything is just and online but how has leadership changed your life well leadership um it actually like it gives you um like the others to do different things like you're able to tell students your fellow students to do things although um sometimes students are like mm, they wouldn't want yeah, to do it's, that it's kind of tricky too but well it's nice and important to do the right thing all right, so Mark, how has leadership influenced you? How has it how has it changed your life, your perspective towards life? Generally, what has leadership, what change has leadership brought into your life? Well, yeah, before, actually, I liked leadership starting from my primary six. Okay. Leader, by then, leadership is something, so let me say it's, let me say it's by chance, it's by luck for you to become a leader because you can't contest with all those people you are with and then you will expect to go. But it's really good because I was shy to talk to people. I was actually a shy person to express myself. For those who know me, I was seriously shy. I was some shy person. But uh, once I became a leader, and I saw you have to stand up, talk to the students, talk to your fellow students, counsel them, guide them in everywhere they are. True. I really got that impression. Like I became, you know, hyped with doing it. Yes, and, and courageous. I, and yeah, courageous. So I continued doing it. Yes. Um, well, that's how it is. That's how it goes. Like, most men. Basically, I'm not shy to face the camera. I'm not shy to talk to big people. Interesting. Everything is fine with me right now, as I compared to that was. Because if you're shy, I don't know how it's how you will actually live on a living. True. So what's what has really amazed me about his story is the fact that we literally share the same thing because I, I was quite shy before I got into leadership. But leadership does change your life. Leadership is able to make you be able to face people and it can bring out a lot of life in you, a lot of opportunities. You learn a lot from leadership because I believe they do take the, the leaders in school aside and tell them a couple of things about life, about how to handle leadership. And one thing that I would want to ask um, our dear guests as we wind up is how have you been able to balance leadership and books? Well, that one, it's up to you, the person. It's not say, let's not say it is caused by something. It's you, the person. Mm. If you're determined that you'll determine you have to pass, you went to school to read books, to make friends, and so on. Determine on what you're on. Focus on what, you are, what you're doing. So if you decide that this time and this, I'm helping out, I'm doing the leadership part, also know that books are there waiting for you. Sure. Sit down, read, be determined. It's actually all about determination because there are those who are determined that they do. Actually, let me say, those who are determined, make it. And those who are not. And those who are determined, that they don't make it. Sure. But just needs determination for the person. Straight up from Mark himself, determination is key be focused that is very key in being able to handle leadership and education and also having to juggle your friends around too so over to medrina how were you able to balance leadership and education because i believe after taking up this uh, leadership position in school your life changed a lot and you realized you had all these things to juggle together how were you able to have that all on one plate well, I don't have a lot to say about um, that, but I would just want to agree with Mark like all you have to do is be determined with that. So. True, true. As we're wrapping up the show, I just have one last question for our guests. Right now we're in the COVID season and there's been a lockdown, shutdown of schools, and this has brought a lot of issues, pregnancies, and uh, a lot of girls are indulging into things they're not supposed to be in. Primary sex, for example, people are going into drugs dropping out of school so what advice uh do we have from our dear guests 
for the viewers out there, high schoolers like you who feel like dropping out or who feel like uh, indulging into these wrong acts? Uh, well, according to me, dropping out is not a good reason because if you drop out, there are many good things you're going to miss up in the future. Very, very many. So if you say that you're ending your education at this age, where are you going to start from? So continue, proceed. There are many other good things in the future coming. Very many. So True. True. And for the girls there, please abstain. Go for your parties, but control yourself. You get? That's it. Sure. So even when you feel like you want to just let go of everything, just keep pushing on. I believe things will be better with time. So over to you, Medrina. What's your answer for the last question before we close the show? Well, I would advise like people to um, try out um, learning some different skills, like learning how to. Is it called tailoring? There is tailoring. You yes. can learn hairdressing. There's a lot. Yes, you can learn like how to how to do like house chores and all that stuff. As we come to the end of the show, I'd like to ask our dear guests to give us their last remarks to call out their friends from their different schools to like this video, to subscribe to the YouTube channel, to drop their comments. Any last words for our viewers? Over to you, Mark. Well, to my viewers, to my friends and my family members out there, please keep your mask on. Social distance, COVID is real and it tortures. For the girls, please abstain. You get, please abstain. Enjoy your parties, enjoy your house parties, your plots, but enjoy responsibly and control yourself. Yeah, and avoid bad peer groups. You get, this is a this is a really tough season for us as students, but please avoid peer groups. Yeah, I sign out, but don't forget to subscribe on the Teens Crown YouTube channel. Please follow, guys. Please go like. Please comment. All is going to be good, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Those are my last words. Thank you very much, Mark from Viva College. He has represented your school very well. He has been a vibe. I've had fun with him. So right now, I'm having Medrina to give us her last words before we wrap up the show. So hey guys, I'm Medrina, and I would definitely want you guys to subscribe to this channel because um there is more to come. And don't forget to comment. Amazing, amazing stuff. It has been an amazing time with these guests of mine. Beautiful, beautiful people. They have represented their schools so well. Mark from Viva College and Medrina from St. Joseph's Nagalama. It has been an amazing time. Thank you for watching. I would like to thank the production team. And please be sure to check out the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Have an amazing time.